I think I went on record at some point and said that Britney Spears, her boyfriend, is is not a good thing. Okay. That I don't like him. Yes, you did say that. Yeah, uh-huh. there's something about this guy I don't like. Okay. For some reason. I, I, what now? So her team, Britney, you know, when we say team Britney, we know who it is. It's mm-hmm. the 10 people that surround Britney Spears at all times. They are saying now that they believe her boyfriend wants her fortune and is uh, brainwashing her. Okay. Of course, they are saying that because the team are the people that are controlling her. And he is somebody that doesn't want anything from her. And by the way, when she married Kevin Federline or when she wanted to marry Kevin Federline, she didn't have a prenup. They made her get a prenup. And they made him sign one before. So she knows now that if she's going to get married to Sam Asghari, they're going to have a prenup. She understands that. And even if not, that's it's her business. She's an adult. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I don't like this guy. I don't like the. There's something about him. It's like when your friend dates that guy and he's a good guy, Mm -hmm. but there's something about him or her that you don't like. That's how I feel with this Sam Gazari guy. Azgari. Yeah, whatever. So he is only dating her, they say, for her money, and that's it. That's why he's standing beside her during this whole trial. He wants this to be over with because that's the only interest he has. I know, but when you say they, think about who they are who's saying that. Okay. It's the people that want to control her, her. Mm-hmm team her quote-unquote team that's not her that's not her real team they don't they don't want her to be happy they don't want her to have things for herself she chose this guy on her own i think he was a he's a personal trainer and like a mm-hmm. dancer they, they met on the on uh, one of her videos that's that's how they met right but yeah no he's not manipulating her she's not a moron it's like the people who are manipulating her are blaming him for manipulating her I'm just saying. See what I'm saying? Going on, going on record now, saying this is not a good guy. I finally have been vindicated by her team. Well, no, actually, what's more interesting? So no, her, but again, stop saying her team. Her team are the people that are trying to keep her conservatorship in place, and the people that want her to be controlled and want her to stay on all of these meds and don't want her to have a life. So you're not giving me you give me the people that want nothing good for her. OK, mm-hmm. the thing that's the most interesting is a lot of her fans are saying that they're worried that he's being paid by the team to fake a relationship and to be like the person on the inside to let them know what she's up to at all times. That's the more interesting part of the story that the team is paying him. I don't believe that either, by the way, but I'm just saying that's the real conspiracy. It's going to come out at some point. Not a good guy. Wants her money. She's going nope. to be destroyed. You'll see. Because it, today they had the list of, and I'm not going to do it because you hate lists, but <laughs> the list of the, the top 30 Britney Spears songs of all time. Mm-hmm. And, right. And going down the list, I was, she's had this many hits. I mean, for an artist to have one hit you know, seven, Mary three or whatever right, for a right. band to have one hit is huge and they can live off that money forever. She's got 30 that are right. just smashes. But her go, real oh, money about that song. That song is, is making her money every single day. But her real money is from the perfume. It's from all of her perfumes. She, she made Estee Lauder $500 million dollars. Five hundred million dollars from perfume. But if she wrote some of these songs in the long run, that's going to make her more money. Oh, I don't. She didn't write any of her own music. I don't think. Yeah, if she had any writing credit on Toxic or Hit Me Baby One More Time or whatever, she she'll be fine. Right. I I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see. I'm kind of yeah. So Toxic is uh pontus winneberg henrik john back christian carlson and kathy dennis none of them are britney spears Oh, okay yeah she doesn't write any of her own music she's a she's like rihanna she's a hired gun Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. you know, somebody writes a song that he, she, she comes in, she sings it with her very unique voice and that's her thing. That's but always been her thing. Just the, the hit after hit after hit. And I said, I forgot about all these songs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and then you look at the list and you go, that's money. She's got way more money than she even knows. Being from the record company standpoint, she's got Jack somewhere a lot more than we know. So this guy, I think, is just waiting to get his hands on his money. Okay, so you're, it's, it's very cute that you think her music is making her any money. She has 31 fragrances. She has 31 perfumes. <laughs> that much? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Her, her fragrances are now worth, they're probably up to like a billion dollars by now. It's a billion dollar business. That yeah, I mean, In Style did an article like about a, a couple of years ago where she said that um, her billion dollar business had nothing to do with music whatsoever. It was her fragrances and her performances. So her Vegas uh, residency, her tours, and her perfumes are really where the bulk of her money comes from. Not from the music, because like I said, she doesn't own any of the publishing rights. She doesn't really own her own music. She just is the singer. 